Archie hates pink. Archie was a big orange cat. He lived in a bright white house with a painter called Tallulah. Every day Tallulah painted lots of pictures and every day Archie sat on the windowsill and watched her. Archie liked most colours. He liked blue because it was the colour of the sky. Colour of the sky? He liked green because it was the colour of grass. He liked silver because it was the colour of the tin opener that opened his cat to. And he liked yellow because it was the colour of his bowl. There was only one colour that Archie didn't like and that colour was... Pink. Pink. Archie hated pink more than anything in the whole world. Archie hated pink because his stinky flea powder was in a pink bottle. He hated pink because his brush with the prickly bristles had a pink handle. He especially hated pink because the horrible medicine that he sometimes had to swallow was always pink. One day a terrible thing happened. Tallulah stopped painting pictures. She got out the ladder, she picked up a huge roller and she began to paint the house pink. How could she? Archie said, Archie, he yelled Archie to his best friend Max. I'm leaving home and I'm never coming back. And even though Tallulah called him and called him, Archie pretended that he couldn't hear. It's time you learned a few things, said Max. Max was a mysterious cat. Nobody knew where Max came from, but nobody asked. But there was nothing that Max didn't know. Max took Archie to the market. Archie had never been to the market before. He saw loaves of bread that looked like birds. He saw baskets shaped like boats full of flowers. He saw piles and piles of delicious things to eat. First they went to a fruit stall. Max pointed to a watermelon. Watch, he said. As Max spoke, a man in a white coat picked up a sharp knife. Whack! He split the watermelon in half. Archie gasped. Inside it was pink, the kind of bright rosy pink you only see in sunsets. Next, they went to the fish stall. Max pointed to a large yellow bucket by a tray of crushed ice. Watch, he said. As Max spoke, a man in a white coat tipped the bucket over the ice. Splat! A mountain of shiny pink things with Popeyes and feelers appeared. Archie gasped. What are they? Prawns, said Max. Follow me. Around the back there was a huge dustbin. Max jumped in and threw pieces of pink prawns on the ground. Archie gobbled them up. They were absolutely delicious. On the way home, Archie saw a man selling carnations. They were pink and pretty with frilly edges. He crept nearer and smelt like Tallulah's favourite perfume. Colour perfume? Archie thought of how Tallulah had called and called and he had pretended not to hear. He thought of all the kind things that Tallulah did to him. It wasn't her fault that the blue powder bottle was pink or the prickly brush had a pink handle or the horrible cat medicine was pink. Suddenly Archie wanted to say sorry for being such a silly spoiled cat. Max watched Archie carefully through narrow eyes. It was almost as if he knew what Archie was thinking. Say it with flowers, purred Max. So Archie grabbed a mouthful of carnation and ran down the road. Tallulah was sitting sadly on the grass. Behind her was the house that sparkled with pink paint. 
Archie couldn't believe his eyes. It was the sort of pink that made you dream of delicious fish. It was the sort of pink you only see in sunsets. Max, he cried, I love pink and it's all because of you. But Max had disappeared and Saluna was running across the grass and holding out her arms. The end. Thank you for